everyone, it's Bonnie. Happy Wednesday! Oh my goodness, you guys! Witch hat is on! I'm gonna take it off because it's really hot in here. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe how many Kringle Halloween candles I got. Gotta fix my bangs here. This is a huge haul, you guys. My poor UPS driver, he's like, that's a lot of candles. <laughs> this is all 19 Kringle Candle Halloween candles. If you're just joining me, I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador, which means if you use the code Queen Geek on your Kringle orders, you're gonna get an extra 15% off. Now, these are almost sold out. All they have left are It's Alive and Lady Darkness Werewolf just sold out. If you want Kringle Halloween candles, you're gonna to have to wait till September 16th. They're gonna do the paraffin country jars and they're gonna do um, the soy blend. Actually, I think they're 100% soy this year in the soy ones, um, the three wick. So that is coming. So mark your calendars. I have been waiting for so long for this. I am so excited to unbox this. Oh my gosh, I can't even imagine right now too with the California heat, um, they're probably delaying these uh, shipping out west. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to do this on camera. I wanted to do this completely on camera because I love experiencing all of the scents like with you guys. So, oh my gosh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> this is really awkward, you guys. This isn't the only box. There's another box on the floor, so I'm probably gonna have to, um, Maybe stop the video. I don't know. Everything's moving. Okay, we got to. I got to get settled here. Okay, I think I got it, you guys. Oh my gosh! I got to pull the crates off. There we go. Oh, they're beautiful. Get rid of that. <laughs> get rid of this. Okay, there are twelve in here, and there's probably seven more in the other box. Are you ready? Okay. They pack them really, really well, you guys. So what I need to do is I need to pull the lids off because what they do is they put an extra crate. Oh my gosh, these smell so good. I can't even tell what's what because they're all just like, whoo, all over the place. What they do is they put this extra piece on so that they don't knock together in shipment. So let me take off the... I'm putting the lids back in order. <laughs> Let me take these lids off. Oh my gosh. Um, let me get the... There we go. There we go. This is a lot of work, you guys. I'm getting a workout here. Okay, now let me pull this off. Like I said, what I like about these is they're all so nicely packed. I don't know. I think I'm going to mess the lids up. That's okay. We're going to do all... 12 of these candles right now. Are you ready? Candle number one, Legends and Lore. Let me see Legends and Lore. I don't know if I'm going to grab the sun notes off of all of these. This video is going to be like an hour and a half long if I do this, um, but I'm going to do it to a couple of them. Legends and Lore is, let me see here, um, Eucalyptus uh, oh, lemon, balsam, eucalyptus, tobacco flower, jasmine, suede, black cedar, sandalwood, and amber. It's got the cool skeleton here. And I saw on Philly Candleman that these labels under a black light glow. I got to try that out. That sounds really interesting. Okay, you ready? There's some lemon in here. I don't know if I love this one, you guys. I don't know if I like the lemon balsam. I was worried about this one. Um, it's okay. I'm not sure I love the lemon and balsam. It's a little too florally for me. So I don't know about that one. <laughs> First one, I don't know if I like it. <laughs> There's more I'm gonna like. <laughs> Next up, oh, red rum. I gotta grab the set notes off of red rum. This was so interesting. Um, the Shining, oh my gosh, that was one of the best horror movies ever written Stephen King this one is I love the homage to Stephen King on this one um, this one is clove fresh timber black salt patchouli rose tobacco leaf gray amber vanilla musk and oud 
You ready? Love the door here. Okay. Oh, I like this one. Oh, this one smells really good. I don't know what timber is, but oh my gosh. I like the timber now. Um, Kringle did a lot of tobacco leaf this year. They kind of started it last year with um, Scarecrow, but I do like this one. Okay, that one's a winner. Okay, so I'm going to put my winners over here. Okay. Oh, Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow came back from last year. This was so popular last year. Everyone wanted Sleepy Hollow. It was one of the first ones to sell out. Reminds me of the whole, um, you know, the movie Sleepy Hollow. Uh, the set notes on this one are pumpkin spice, incense, cedarwood, clove, caramel, and citrus. I think they changed the formula. I have an old Sleepy Hollow around here somewhere. I will probably do a comparison. Let me see this one. I like this one. Um, not a lot of caramel in here. This one smells like incense. It's like a burning, smoky smell. It's really strong. It kind of reminds me of Haunted House. Remember when they had Haunted House? It's got that burning smell. It actually smells really good. Okay, I like that one. Next up, we have... Oops, I have the lid off of here. Oh, Vampire. I don't know about Vampire, you guys. I think this is like the scariest one of all i'm like this is just like creepy remember nightmare last year nightmare was super creepy um vampire is equally creepy i'm seeing it's getting good reviews though so the set notes on this one i'm just doing set notes here um oh this one was interesting brandied stone fruit sweet sparkling pomegranate per persimmon <laughs> black raspberry Labdamon, I can't even say it as Labdamon, I don't know what that is, dried plum and amber, <laughs> like I don't know what this is, okay, oops, some of these, sometimes the lids, oh Kringle, sometimes the lids get a little funky and you gotta fix the lid, I was hoping that one happened this year, this one snapped on really good, it might have been my fault, okay, oh my gosh, I love this one, this one is unique, you guys. Scary, scary, scary. Really good scent. I hope you guys got this one. Oh, that brandied stone fruit. I don't know what the heck that is, but it smells. This one's really nice and fruity. I don't know if this is what vampires smell like, um, but that one is a definite yay. Poor Lady Darkness. Lady Darkness. <laughs> this is the one that's still available. I don't know if it was just too creepy. This is another one that's like super, super creepy, you guys. Um, this one is, let me see here. Um, oh, where'd the scents go? Oh, Black Rose, Aromatic, Bergamot, Jasmine, Moss, Amber, and Wood. Super creepy. Um, let me see. No, you know what? I don't like this one. This one is too close to um, Lady in White, I think it was called last year. It's too powdery for me. This one is definitely a no for me. I don't like the powdery notes in this one. Um, I wasn't sure I was going to like that one. So that, that's a no. Oh my gosh, Vampire though. Oh, didn't think I was going to love Vampire that much. Oh, Witching Hour. This is the one that everyone wanted that like literally sold out, I think, immediately. Let's see if Witching Hour is as good as the label. Witching Hour, Witching, I love the label, by the way. The label is awesome. It's got a definite um, Harry Potter. Everything's got a Harry Potter vibe to me. You know me. Got to get my Harry Potter vibe on here. Okay, uh, this one is Dried Berries, Earthly Spices, Jasmine Petals, Blue Cypress, Violet Leaf, Smoky Moss, Sandalwood, and Tonka Bean. You ready? Oh my gosh, I do like this one. This is so earthy. Oh my gosh, if you like earthy scents for Halloween, this one is definitely earthy. I do like this one a lot, and it smells like it's going to be really strong. This is a winner. Okay. Witching Hour for the win. Next up, we have, oh, Apparition. I heard this one is the uh, under the black light. I got to do that. I'm going to see what these look like under the black light. I'm so excited to do that. Apparition actually just sold out not too long ago. Um, let me see here. Apparition is a oh, wet leather. This is, I mean, what is wet leather? 
wet leather, <laughs> sweet tobacco leaf, again with the tobacco, um, cedarwood, crushed moss, vetiver, patchouli, and sandalwood. Oh, I don't know what wet leather is, but I like it. Oh my gosh, this is just a mix of really, really strong scents. Patchouli, cedarwood, moss, tobacco, and leather. I like it though. This is actually a good one. I'm digging this one. Okay, Apparition is a win. Oh my gosh, uh, Cemetery Lane. Cemetery Lane, I love the label on Cemetery Lane. I thought this is one of the, the best labels this year. I love the creepy haunted house. It's green. Um, this one is, I keep getting out of stock notice on these, <laughs> dark, mysterious musk, midnight iris, patchouli, dried oak, creeping moss, creeping moss, dusky cedarwood, and sweet earth. Kringle loves to do like earthy scents with these Kringles. If you like more of traditional, um, like fruity type of scents, or I don't know, we've got anise coming, check out the next group because I think you're going to love those too. Oh, this one's good. It smells like cement <laughs> in a good way. It's like earthy, like cement. Oh my gosh, I love this one. It's got a really, maybe it's the dried oak. Oh my gosh, this one is nice. I'm really, really digging this one. Okay, Cemetery Lane for the win. Uh, werewolf, this is well, this just sold out like yesterday. Actually, I got a couple extra werewolf coming. Um, werewolf is, I love the I love the imagery on this. I love the werewolf. Okay. Um doo -doo -doo, what is this one? This one is oh, vetiver, patchouli, wood, peppercorn, amber, and spice. See the lid's a little bit stuck on this one. It could be because they were just outside too. It is a little bit warm here today. Oh my gosh, werewolf smells so good. This one is amazing. Oh my gosh, I don't know if it's the wood, if it's the peppercorn. Oh my gosh, yes. Werewolf for the win. Three more in this box and then we're moving to the other box. Okay, next up is Graveyard Night. I hope they didn't change this one too much. Because Graveyard Night is one of my favorite, like, foodie candles from Kringle. This one is, doo -doo -doo, what is this one? Um, caramel, fruity, bayberry, anise star, pumpkin, spices, clove, cinnamon, sweet milk, musk. It is powdery. I'm a little nervous about this one, you guys. Oh, I like it. It's very similar to last year. There's a little bit more fruit, I think. I like it though. Oh, this one is good. Oh my gosh, Graveyard Night. Okay, next up we have candy corn. I'm not even gonna read scent notes on this one. This one is just basically vanilla caramel. It's, it's candy corn. Oh my gosh, yes, candy corn is home. <laughs> I love candy corn. Okay, this smells so good. These are the 100% soy wax. I like the white wax this year. Um, that is beautiful. Okay, and then the final one in this one is Scarecrow. Um, a lot of people thought this was like really, really creepy. They added a little girl next to the um, Scarecrow, which does make it like super creepy. Um, this one is, let me see here. Uh, tobacco, Oriental, Bergamot, Herbal, leather and amber one that they did not bring back was um day of the dead i know a lot of people like that one. Oh yeah i love scarecrow the tobacco in this one is fabulous okay so from this grouping i think my favorites are cemetery lane i like vampire oh my gosh the candied fruit that is awesome graveyard night Candy corn, scarecrow. I love werewolf. Werewolf is just really nice. So I am going to stop the camera for a minute so you guys don't see me fall over in my chair. And I'm going to grab the other box. I'm back. I did not fall out of my chair. I almost um, fell over, but I did not. <laughs> grab this one. Oh my gosh. So these candles are heavy. You figure there were 12, 12 candles in there. 
and they're over a pound each, or 22 ounces of wax. So let me pull the crate off of this one. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Get the lids off. This is so much fun, you guys. I cannot wait until the next launch too. So you figure Kringle, 12 plus 19, that's 20, 31 candles this year for Halloween. How amazing is that? Kringle just outdid themselves this year on Halloween. Great job. Okay. First up, we have uh, oh, Dungeon. Dungeon, Dungeon. Let me look at the send notes on Dungeon. Let's see here. Um, I got Nevermore and Pandora's Box. I've already reviewed those. So if you're looking for those two reviews, those are in um, my catalog of videos. Okay, Dungeon, 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 Dungeon. This one's pretty. I like the purple. I gotta say, Dungeon is actually really pretty. Scent Story. This one is Earthy, Cedarwood, Tonka, Dirt, and Moss. It smells like a dungeon. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is strong. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of dirt on this one. I kind of like it though. This is a good one. It's just really, really strong. It's got a really strong dirt note. Okay, next up, Coffin Rock. Coffin Rock, this is with the black and white lid. Let me see what this one is. I gotta start reviewing this for you guys too. I cannot wait to light these up. It's going to be a really good September, October. Um, let me see here. Woody, herbaceous spice, patchouli, dried lemon. I don't know about the lemon. Silver sage, oak moss, musk, and warm cedar. I'm afraid I'm not going to like this one because I don't love um, the lemon and the silver sage. This one is not, this one's not thrilling me. It's okay. It's just, um, I don't like that lemon note. I don't know why. I'm not a huge fan of the lemon note. Um, oh, Hocus Pocus. That's the one everyone wanted too. Hocus Pocus was just super popular. Oh my gosh. Let me see Hocus Pocus. The scent notes on Hocus Pocus are, let me grab this one. Um, the one that I wish had come back this year uh, was Poison Apple. I was a huge fan of a poison apple. Um, let me see here. Where is Hocus Pocus? Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, Hocus Pocus is. Oh, this one's like so interesting. It's fresh orange, sunny freesia, jasmine, vanilla, amber, soft musk, but it's powdery. So I don't know. Oh, I like this. This isn't powdery in a bad way, <laughs> it's powdery in a good way. Oh, it's kind of bright. I kind of like it for a Halloween candle. Hocus Pocus is good. I am digging that one. And then the final two are the ones that I, oh, it's alive. You know what? I didn't, that's right. I didn't get Nevermore and Pandora's Box in this one because I already had them. They're coming. I'm getting duplicates of them. So it's alive. This one's spicy. It's a little soapy. Um, this one is still available. It's alive was from last year. Um, it's Alive is okay. And then, um, oh, Graveyard Fog. Graveyard Fog is, let me see here. Oh my gosh, this was a workout unboxing all of these candles. So much fun though. Absolutely a delight to do this. Um, let me see here. We have Galbanum, Eucalyptus, Cardamom, Cinnamon, Vetiver, Clove, amber, leather, and cedarwood. That galbanum is like some sort of like under the sea type thing. I don't know if I'm gonna like this one. I like it, but it's strong. Oh my gosh, these candles are really strong this year. Okay, I'm liking this one. It's earthy. I like what Kringle did. So what Kringle did, where's my notes from the ones that are coming up? Kringle did an amazing job this year. So what they did was they gave us so many like beautiful, earthy, woodsy, moss, dirt, herb candles with these black, shiny label. I love the, the jars. They're just gorgeous. 
And then, like I said, what they're going to do is they're going to bring out um, this new collection in September um, that's a little bit, um, they're brighter colors and uh, a lot of really interesting scents. So the ones that we're getting, I went over all the scent notes, but we've got stuff like Vampire Blood, we've got Zombie Tonic, Goblin Juice, all kinds of neat stuff. There's an anise candle. There's some booty ones. Lots of good stuff coming. Oh my gosh. So am I thrilled? I am thrilled. Um, this is a little bit overwhelming to see all of these candles coming at me at once. By the way, there's Graveyard Night back there, the other one. <laughs> Absolutely A plus stellar job on Halloween Kringle. This could not have been more fun. I'm going to start reviewing these. Um, the labels this year are absolutely gorgeous. They look amazing um, with your Halloween displays. And I think you guys are going to love the scents. Oh, my gosh. That vampire one. Oh, my gosh. I can't decide which is my favorite yet. But um, I think vampire is, is up there. Uh, Witching Hour is good. Oh, my gosh. So many good ones. I don't know which one to burn first. <laughs> Let me know if you have a preference, and I will start burning these soon. Thank you so much. Don't forget to use my code QueenGeek if you order from Kringle. I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.